everyone once again to another video. Today we're going to be taking apart a PlayStation 4 controller. Gotta get it done, so might as well do it. This one, this time we're going to show you how to remove a stripped, uh, corroded screw. Which, this is pretty bad. I've never experienced something this horrible. Even on that other blue controller, which I have in the background here, that had a pretty bad, rough controller. So what I would suggest starting off with is trying to pry out the uh, nasty gunk that's stuck in there. Uh, don't go around the edges. You just want to kind of make a little bit of a plus sign or a uh, Phillips or whatever they call it. Sorry, I should know these things, but maybe I'm just stupid. So let's check on normal screws. This is the right, that is the right size. So let's see if we can just simply yeah, that's bad. That is really bad. Yikes. So there's another corroded screw, but I don't believe it's as bad as the rest, or the others. Yeah, this one could, I believe, come out. As long as you push down, give it enough pressure, it should be able to. If there's still a little bit of a resemblance, that's what you're going to look for of the original screw, like you got the outlines and stuff. Really hoping that this doesn't get screwed over. I was about to say, oh no, we lost a screw, but I don't want that one back, believe me. That is a far gone screw. It's horrible. So yeah, that's how it should come out if it's a light one, but this is beyond comprehensible. So I'm going to try to scratch away some of that corrosion. See if I can get a resemblance out of it. Oh, I can. Hold on. I can get a little bit of a resemblance in there. What I like to do is put a screwdriver under it to get into tight places, which is how I clean my Game Boys, if you guys want to see a video on that. Maybe you don't, maybe you do. Please let me know. So, this is bad, but I believe with enough uh, persistence, we may be able to get it out of there. If not, this controller is literally a lost cause. There's no way, unless I try some other methods, of course. There it is. We're going to need a smaller driver in there. Okay, get a smaller bit. I know some people don't have access to these uh, tools, but um, if you do, you're in luck, because, oh god. I kind of wonder what the backstory on this one is. Like, how did it become this way? God, dude, some people just got to take better care of that stuff, dude, but I am not here to judge anyone on their cleanliness of their controllers. Ooh, I have a bit of a pull, sorry. And it is coming out. I call that a success and a half. Holy crap, dude. But you're really gonna have to push down if you wanna get this thing out. Um, it's pretty... 
pretty difficult stuff. I might actually be able to save that screw. Uh, let's see if we can get all the corrosion off of it. Cause I don't know. I'm not going to reattach that one. That one is dead. Okay. I just kind of flick all my corroded screws out of this place. But yeah, um, that's all I really want to show in this video because I've made multiple videos fi fixing drift on a uh, PlayStation controller. So believe me, I don't have to make another one. You can check many of the other PlayStation controller videos and you will get the same results, I'm telling you. I've made nearly two identical videos, but there was... The second one was to perfect the first one. Uh, sorry for background noise. Um, that's a usual thing on this channel. Um, but yeah, that's how you remove a corroded screw. Uh, what you're gonna need, I'm going to give out a little bit of a background. Take wipes, you kind of scrape away the... Don't scrape, but rub away the corrosion, a little dirt inside, and it should show a bit of a plus mark. You just kind of like, like just push in and twist with all your might, and you might get some luck out of it. Um, and if that doesn't work, you're just going to have to um, just kind of scrape the inside with uh, something like this little blade here, which I use a lot lately. <sighs> if you have any other questions, because I feel like I haven't explained a lot here, um, please let me know. I will definitely be answering all of comments, or at least as many as I can, depending how big this video is. So yeah, that's um, how to remove corroded slash stripped screws. Uh, please consider subscribing. It would do me greatly. Uh, really motivate to work on this channel a bit more. So yeah, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of the video. And um, if you like the video, like it, I guess. I'm not sure. I'll see you guys in the comments.